Hey guys, it's Holly. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do a lot of cooking, travel, homeschooling, and motherhood videos. So if you enjoy any of those things, I really hope that you would hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. Okay, in today's video, I wanted to talk about preparing for emergencies when it comes to food. Ever since 2020 hit, we have been living in the unknown, right? There has been so many things that have changed our world and we just don't know when there is going to be a really big emergency. So it is wise to just be prepared, stock up and just always have what we need on hand. I like to always have ingredients in our home. So that way, if there is a big emergency and I can't leave the house for let's say six weeks or so, I will always have ingredients to make plenty of meals. So in this video, I wanted to share with you several meals where you can keep all these ingredients in your home for a long period of time. That way, like I said, if something does happen, you are ready. It does help if you have a second freezer that really helps for freezing some meat and vegetables. But if you don't have a second freezer, I really believe you could still improvise. It does also help to have some extra pantry space. But again, if you don't have that extra pantry space, extra shelves in the garage work, the basement, or even a bedroom closet. So come with me right now as I share with you all these different meal options and ingredients that you can keep in your home for a long period of time to prepare for emergencies. First is turkey vegetable barley stew. This is a very hearty stew that I make a lot in the winter months. The meat in this recipe you can freeze and then all the other ingredients are pantry items that you can keep for quite a long time. Then there are the vegetables in the stew that can be kept in the freezer also for a length of time. But this is a stew that is not only hearty but healthy and I always like to have ingredients for it. Next is chicken curry. Chicken curry is also something I make a lot in the winter months. The chicken in this recipe you can either buy fresh chicken and freeze it or you can buy frozen chicken and cook with that is what I normally do. The rest of the ingredients though are all pantry items except for the crushed garlic that can stay in your fridge for a while. This is a dinner that we like with rice and we like it with cheese on top which you can also freeze cheese. Next is Mississippi roast. Mississippi roast is a favorite in our family, so I make it quite often. I always like to have the ingredients on hand. You can see there's not a lot of ingredients. The chuck roast being the main ingredient in this recipe, you can of course freeze. I like to cut up my meat before I freeze it. This way, when I'm ready to make this meal, the meat is already cut up and trimmed and it makes it a lot easier to put together this dinner. Next is chicken tahin. Chicken tahin is a Mexican chicken that you could enjoy in burritos or tacos. We like to do ours in burrito bowls. Once again, you have your chicken that could be frozen, but you can see that all the ingredients here are pantry items, mostly non-perishable. This is my husband's favorite meal, so I make this year round and always have these ingredients in my home. We enjoy this meal with lettuce and tomato on top. Now I do realize you can't keep that in your fridge as long. Next is taco chili stew. Taco chili stew is another hearty, healthy stew that is loaded with vegetables and the ground turkey, what I make it with, you can freeze. And then you have all your canned goods and frozen vegetables. But it is a great meal to always have ingredients for. We do this meal a lot. We make it a lot when company comes over or for hosting a party. It is definitely something to have the ingredients always on hand for. Next is Hawaiian teriyaki chicken. Hawaiian teriyaki chicken we enjoy with rice. Again, you will have your frozen chicken, a few pantry items, as well as crushed garlic in the fridge and bell peppers from the freezer. Along with rice, we also enjoy this dinner with steamed broccoli. So I always keep a bag of frozen broccoli in my freezer. I get a big bag from Costco. Another food item I always like to have on hand is rice. I buy five pound bags. I usually have a couple five pound bags in our pantry supply and we use rice a lot with a lot of these dinners I talked about and other dinners 
that we make. Another thing that I like to do when I get my meat before I freeze it, I like to cook it up. Get it all ground up, cooked, maybe add some onions to it, then put it in a freezer bag and label it. That way when I am ready to make whatever the recipe is, I will already have this step done. It makes it a lot easier. I also like to freeze bell peppers. I'll get some fresh bell peppers, chop them up, freeze them, and they go great in a lot of these recipes I talked about. If you are interested in making any of these meals, I have made a video explaining how to make each meal and the playlist for these videos will be in the description box below. Well, there you go. There is six different meal ideas where you can keep these ingredients in your home for a long period of time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, would you please hit the like button? Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope that you are having a great day.